Yeah, I had we had two, and it was from like like I said, a private sector company. And uh-huh. Like they're they're just awesome guys. Like they're just very yeah, very passionate and like fit really really well with our team. Like yep. our team was super like self motivated. Like you would never have to tell us to do anything. We're yep. really, really motivated. But like these coaches kind of like gave us kind of like leeway to like lead ourselves a little bit. But then yeah. we ever ever like off the mark, they would check us. And so it was very much like they would let us lead it and like kind of get a lot out of it, but then like snap back at us if we weren't in our place, which is like a huge thing. Um, Cause they were definitely more on like the chill, the more chill side, Yeah. which it's shocked. Like for me, like I, I was right exposed to that and like, used to that in strength conditioning. Um, so now being at, at school at TCU and like working for a bunch of sports year, uh, that's like something that it doesn't fit me like as a, as kind of like my personality, but also like what I've known as coaching. So it's really like been an exposure point for me and like a point where I've, I've kind of been able to grow a lot. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, you have to be able to like, you know, I mean, snap back at kids and whatnot. Right, right. Uh, uh, if they're, you know what I mean, messing around and whatnot. So yeah, I think like they were definitely really, really passionate, definitely like really relaxed, but like got on us when we needed it. So they had a cool balance. How are the coaches at TCU? Are they chill or are they more like? So <clears throat> it's weird, like, so, do you do like uh, like exercise science for undergrad or was yeah. that like like physiology, like, exercise science, nice. like, like some nutrition classes? Cool. Yeah. Were you like did you kind of volunteer at all in the strength strength conditioning like at your school or anything? Yeah. So um, that's and this and 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 the reason I'm recording this basically is because in case anyone else wants to be a strength coach because I keep hearing that I think it's becoming a little more popular now. Um, pe- people enjoy you know working people out. And uh, yeah, so like right when I graduated high school, you know, do the college and take your classes. And I was already taking like exercise science and I was already interested in it in high school because I love working out. Um, And then during that time, I was just uh, coaching football as well at this high school. So that was helping. And then I was like, you know, Coach Lawson, you know, if you need help, you know, let me know. And he was like, of course. And so that that was obviously like an easy transition um, because I went here, he coached me and stuff. So, but I also did internships like you said, there's like club sports on the side. There was a club baseball uh, summer strength and conditioning camp that I, I interned for, learned a lot there. And um, and then I left for like two or three years and then they this job opened up and, and, and then they reached out. And I, probably because of the, the internship there. And so that's why I was like, tell people if you're trying to get a job somewhere, like you, you want to get a job at this school or what, whatnot, or like you know, this college or this pro team, um, reach out and try to intern yeah. if you can. I know it's like, you know, it's hard to do intern if they don't have, you know, pay and you need income. But if you can figure it out, I feel like it's the easiest way to get the job that you want rather than just like applying and being like, like shooting darts in the dark, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of like, that's been the biggest thing with high school strength conditioning that has been like for me, like I always feel like I'm kind of shooting in the dark. Mm-hmm. Just, I don't have as many like connects directly. Um, within like high school strength and conditioning, like my I've done internships in like two private sectors, and then obviously like at TCU. Yep. Um, yeah, definitely like outreaching to high schools has been really really hard. Yep. But you yeah, did good with MC like, though. Say again. I would say you did good with MC. Like I feel like that that is the process, you know, and then just like talking to their strength coaches, and you know, let's say I or you know another strength coach at another school talks to you, you know, and. Uh, ends up leaving or getting another job, he might be like, yo, like, you know, I know you're gonna apply for this job, but this guy Kirby, I, I had a talk with him, you know, a couple of months ago or a year ago or whatnot. They could like, like hand it off if, you know, yeah. they know you well enough. So I just, I think you, this was a great job, to be honest, I thought, I, I thought you did really good with this. I feel like a lot of people will just, um, as soon as they get the other email, like, you know, we have the job, they'll just stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I love just connecting with, with yeah. people. Especially.